Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part 13 for the step by step guide to learn Angular. So if you are directly coming to this video, I will recommend you to watch previous video first and then you can come to this video. You can find the link in the description block. So these are the topics we are going to cover in this complete video series and today we will talk about uh, RxJx and Observable. This is our to-do application which we are going to develop in this complete video series. So RxJx stands for Reactive Extension for JavaScript. So it's a library for reactive programming and using Observable and it helps us for asynchronous programming and callback based code. So let's uh, take example of our registration page. So when user registered on the our registration page on the browser and when he submit the form, then it goes to our API and then API stores the data to database and then API returns the success code to browser. And if there is an error, then API returns the error code to browser. So this does not happen immediately. It takes some time and uh, so we are calling that process is a synchronous process. So as I mentioned, uh, it takes some time to store the data and get the response from the API. So uh, we need something to wait and then get a response. So if you, if you will see in the old days, we were having that callback function. And uh, once we get a response, that callback function is getting called. After that, if uh, you worked on AngularJS, so we were having promises. And now in the Angular 2 onwards, we are having observable. So now uh, question comes like in the AngularJS, we were using uh, promise. Then from Angular 2 onwards, we move to observable. So why and uh, what is the difference between promise and observable? So number one difference is uh, promise represent a single value in the future and while observable represent zero or more values in the future. Second difference is promise are async while observable can be sync or async. And the third difference is uh, observable have uh, multiple operators, inbuilt operators like uh, uh, debounce, uh, map, switch map, etc. But uh, we don't have this kind of operators in the uh, promise. So that operators uh, help us to transform our data. So this observable and observer is a pattern of data passing from publisher to subscriber. Uh, for example, like uh, any user action on button click or uh, some last task. And we are having uh, uh, some steps for observable and observable. Like first step is observable is created. Then observer subscribe to observable and then observable start sending a notification to observer. So uh, if we take an example like uh, we receive a response from the server, then observable send a notification to observer to subscribe to that data. And observable execute only when we have at least one subscriber. So it never get executed if observable is not having any subscriber. Uh, let's quick look to our code. So this is our account service we created and we are returning observable here. So this off keyword is help to uh, convert our data to observable. So by this off, we are converting this array st string array to observable and we are returning this observable values here. And here in the direct queue, uh, not this one. Here in the direct queue, uh, we are using that observable, but it will execute only when we will have any error. Or uh, let's take another example. Let's open our uh, login component. So this is our login component and we are uh, sending this information with our route. And uh, let's open our home component. So yeah, here is our home component. So here we are getting this information in the param map and that's uh, observable. So we are subscribing that observable 
and getting the information so when we are subscribing then that observable sends a notification to observer to get the information and then ob this observable are having uh, three input parameters one is next second is error and third is a uh, uh, complete so now we use next and another two is optional we can use that also for example we want to log uh, error to our uh, logger so then we can use uh, error here and similar to that we have complete So now next is what is the operator. So we used a map operator in our code. So operator basically help us to transform our data. For example, uh, we are getting very complex uh, object from uh, API and uh, suppose very nested uh, structure and we want to uh, transform that and show in our grid uh, dropdown. So in that scenario, operator help us to, so for example, here we used map operator. So we can use operator inside a pipe and then I can give comma here and I can add another operator. So we can make a chain of operators and we can use multiple operators in our code. These are some interview questions related to RxJS, like what is RxJS, what is difference between obs observable and observable what is difference between promise and observable and why we need operators in RSS. So I hope you are able to answer all these questions and that's all for this video. And in the next video, I'm going to use ASP.NET Core 3.1 to create an API and we will use entity framework core in that and uh, for our registration page post method and we will get the list of the registered users so if you are using any other server technology like node.js php java so you can continue with that also but uh, in this video series i am going to use asp.net core thank you for watching